Gary Roxwold, and I'd like to talk to you about our graphical approach series that includes college algebra, trigonometry, and pre-calculus with limits. This series covers all the traditional topics and skills. However, it has reorganized parts of the traditional curriculum to help students better understand the important mathematical concepts. This reorganization includes a unified function approach. This approach consists of a four-step process that is applied to each type of function we discuss. In step one, we examine the basic characteristics of the function and its graph. Domain and range are discussed. In step two, we solve equations analytically using standard techniques. We also use our knowledge about the graph of the function to solve the same equations. In step three, we solve the associated inequality both analytically and graphically. Finally, in step four, we apply analytic and graphical methods to modeling and applications involving the type of function being discussed. Our presentation provides a sound pedagogical approach. Today's students rely on visual learning more than ever. Our use of graphs promotes deeper understanding of concepts, which would not occur if only analytic approaches were used. For example, if a student knows the graph of a quadratic function is a parabola, then the student can quickly understand that a quadratic equation has zero, one, or two solutions. Students can also solve a quadratic inequality by visualizing a parabola and the x-axis. Despite low success rates, students need math more than ever. Clearly math is essential for STEM students, however math is increasingly important for students in the social sciences and humanities as well. Students who succeed in math have more opportunities and can fully succeed in their careers. My goal as a teacher has always been to help students realize their dreams. If your students are having difficulty with understanding important concepts or retaining essential skills, then consider looking at our series. Thank you.